Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always begin by sitting on our bottoms and crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There, now we're ready to begin. So let's have a look who our adventure is about today. Let's pop on our cosmonoculars, drawing our thumbs and fingers together. Have a look through. <gasps> wow, look at that. It's so pretty spinning around and around. All the colours, oh, lovely. Oh, can you see it? Oh, yes, it's an owlet, a baby owl. It's Tallulah the owlet. What's Tallulah doing? She's doing yoga. She's doing magic carpet pose. This is so exciting. We're off to see Tallulah the owlet. How cute. Now, we all know about owls, don't we? They're supposed to be wise. Well, poor little Tallulah. I think she's been having a bit of a problem with this recently because she doesn't really know what wise means. Hmm. And maybe we could do with help on that one too. So this is going to be a very helpful adventure. So today we're going to be camping, camping out at night. So let's pack a backpack. We take our legs out long and we reach forward to our toes, bending our knees a little bit. We open the backpack, lifting our arms. Oop. Taking our arms out wide, we twist one way and we get ourselves a tent. We need a tent to camp in. Tent, 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 tent. Arms out wide again, we twist the other way. And we get a torch so that we can see in the dark. Here we go. Boom. Lovely. Pop it in. There we go. Arms out wide. Twist the other way. Now, oh, let's get a sleeping bag so we're nice and snug tonight. Here we go. Sleeping bag, sleeping bag, sleeping bag, sleeping bag. Arms out wide. Twist the other way. Let's get a little camping stove in case we need some breakfast in the morning or for some hot chocolate later. Get your camping stove and pop it in. Mm. Arms up high, bending our knees. Let's close the backpack. Mm. Done. Now, let's get ready to be little owls. Crossing our legs, we need to get our necks ready. So we look over one shoulder and over the other. Now, owls have seven more bones in their necks than we do, so they can look round a lot further than we can. Let's try it again. Over one shoulder and over the other. Now let's fluff up our feathers by rolling our shoulders around and around. Lift them up and put them down. Lift up one, lift up two, put down one, put down two. Going up, up, a down, down, up, up, a down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Very good, everyone. Now for those eyes, big owl eyes. Let's Let's do our cosminocular fingers. Have a look through. Gosh, your eyes are enormous. Lovely, just like owls. We make them strong by putting a finger on our chin and putting our thumb in front of us. Now keep your head still and follow your thumb as you move it with your eyes, lifting it up and down. Only moving your eyes to the side and the other side. And now going all the way around. Very good. Now, we need to get our eyes ready for seeing in the dark. So we bring our hands together and we rub them really fast, making them go super duper hot. Hot, 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 hot. And when they're super hot, we place them over our eyes like cups, allowing our eyes to rest in that warm darkness. And when we lower our hands, Ah, our eyes feel amazing. It's time to go. So we come up onto two knees, stretch our arms wide and give everyone at home a great big hug. Oh, we step outside. 
And we head out into the woods, marching out into the forest, where we're going to be setting up our camp tonight. It's still daylight, so Tallulah is still asleep. This gives us time to set up our tent. Here we are. Let's put it up. We put out one pole. Take your leg out to the side. And two poles. Take your leg out to the other side. And three poles, lifting your arm up to the sky. And four poles. Now, let's check that the zipper works. Let's see if it goes all the way down. Ready? Zip. Oh, it does. Now, does it go up, I wonder? Let's try. Let's go down again. Zip. Maybe it'll go up this time. Here we go. Zzzz. Oh, oh dear. Zzzz. Whew. Phew, that's a relief. We didn't want that zipper to be broken. Now we set up a campfire. Sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and setting up some logs. We fold forwards as the flames start to crackle, making us feel all lovely and warm. Oh, the sky is starting to change colour, so we lie down on our backs to watch. Lying down, wow, look at the sky. It's turning from orange to lilac to purple and blue. It's dusk. It's so pretty. Look up there. We can see the moon. We stand up. We reach up to the moon and we say, hello, moon. But look, it's just a little crescent moon. Drawing your feet together, bring your hands together and lean all the way over like a crescent moon or a banana and come back to the centre again and over the other way. Whoop. Wow! The moon is surrounded by lots of beautiful sparkly stars. Come up tall, jump your feet wide, arms wide, making a star shape. Look how sparkly your star is. It's amazing. Goodness, what's that sound? Come down to your knees, everyone, and rub your ears. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's the sound of the owls. They're waking up. It's the sound of the night. Can we be still and calm as we let the sounds of the night come alive? We look up and up through the trees, through the branches, we can see Tallulah, the owlet, coming up, up onto your toes, perch back. She holds her little wings to the side, looking over the edge, her little talons wiggling. She's a bit wobbly up there, but look, she looks down at us and she spots us. Uh-oh, she decides to dive down. Lifting your bottom up to the sky, she's falling. She might crash in a moment. But she takes her wings, crossing her elbows, protecting her little beak. She huddles down into a little ball, huddle yourself up, and then lands with a bump on her tail feathers, rocking and rolling backwards and forwards. Rock and roll! Oh dear, she's got lots of leaves in her beak, so she does a big <laughs> to get it clear. Oh dear, I'm all in a flap and a fidget because I've got to do my wisdom test at school, at owl school, and I'm not really sure what wisdom means. Oh dear, Tallulah. Well, being in a flap and a fidget can't be helping. Maybe we can help you calm down and feel centred by doing some special owl breaths. Coming to our knees, we show Tallulah how to do it. Bring your hands down in between your knees. Breathe in and lift up your wings. Breathe out and lower them down. And again. Oh, that's better. Now Tallulah feels so much calmer. She feels ready for anything. We can help her learn how to be wise. So we set off and head to the magic wishing tree. Standing up, bring one foot on top of the other 
and your hands together at your heart. Now grow your wishing tree branches tall. Now, because we're at the wishing tree, I think we can make a wish. Can you whisper your wish to me now? Your wish, it's brilliant. Let's swap sides, bringing your hands down. Take your foot and put it on the other foot now. Hands together at your heart. Grow your wishing tree branches tall. And this time, let's make a little special wish just for Tallulah. We wish that she finds her way to wisdom. Yes. Now it's time to go. On with our journey. Oh, jump your feet wide. We come to a ginormous spider's web. Ooh, and sat in the middle is a rather large spider. Bring your feet in a little bit closer. Bend your knees, wiggle your fingers. Take them inside your feet and then take them round the back and round the sides to sit down. Psst, psst. Uh, excuse me, I'd like to talk to you. The spider wants to talk to us. We'd better go and listen. I was hearing that you might need to learn how to be wise. Is that true? Well, I had a student just like you once, name of Peter Parker. Yes, that's right. Became the superhero Spider-Man. Well, I taught him everything he knows. I taught him how to activate his spider senses. Would you like to know? We sit down on our bottoms and cross our legs. Would we like to know how to activate our spider senses? Yes, we would. We sit, our eyes are wide, we are ready to learn, and so is Tallulah. The spider brings the tips of its feet together, sitting poised. When you hear the sound of the gong, you will hear it chime and hear it ring. When you can no longer hear the ring, you must lower your hands into your lap. Are you ready to take the test and hear the gong? We're ready. We place our hands out to the side in preparation for hearing the gong. <gasps> wow, that was cool. We couldn't hear it anymore and so we lowered our hands into our laps. Should we try it again? Let's try it one more time and try it this time with our eyes closed. We take our hands out to the side, close our eyes and wait for the sound of the gong. When we can't hear any more of the gong's chime, we lower our hands into our laps. Here we go. was amazing. We did some really good activated listening then. The spider tells us. Now you see, that is the spider's lesson. Remember, the less you speak, the more you'll hear. That is my lesson to you, O Tallulah, and to you too, Cosmic Kids. This is a really good lesson. And now that we've activated our hearing, we can hear the sound of a monkey jumping. Coming up onto our toes after three, big monkey jump. One, two, three. <laughs> this is our monkey friend, Mike, the cosmic space monkey. All right there. Now I've got a little bit of advice. Can you look? I mean, Really, really look and see what's going on in the world around you. Even better, can you imagine the world from someone else's point of view? Let's try it now. Look, over there, rustling in the leaves. What do you see? Sure enough, we see what Mike's pointing to. A tiny little mouse who's rustling around in the leaves. Now, can we imagine what this little mouse is thinking? Oh, I'm just looking for some berries and some nuts and some seeds. Oh, oh look, I found some. Oh, this is great. Oh, I can feed my babies tonight. This is wonderful. Sitting up, Tallulah spots a beetle rolling around on his back. Lying on your backs, holding onto your legs and have a little roll. Ooh. He looks like he's having a really good scratch on his back. Oh, we imagine what he must be thinking. Oh, yeah, that's the ticket. That's the spot. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, yes, I like giving it a good... Yep, yeah. oh, great. Wow. 
we look back at Mike, our friend, sitting up. He is squatting still. So you see, my friend, if you can see stuff and feel stuff from someone else's point of view, that is called compassion. And that, my friend, is a quality of the wise. And with that nugget of wisdom, he leaps off into the night. One, two, three. <laughs> this is great. We're learning so much about wisdom. What was that noise? Standing tall. <laughs> it's the school bell for Owl School. It's time for Tallulah's wisdom test. Oh, let's hope she's ready. There's just enough time to phone a friend. Sitting on your bottoms, legs out long. Take hold of your telephone. Dial the number. Hello? <gasps> on the other end of the phone is our friend, Popcorn the Dolphin. Coming up onto your knees, crisscross your fingers, come down onto your elbows. <laughs> Our Tallulah is on the phone to Popcorn the Dolphin, taking hold of your other phone now, holding it to your ear. So, what do you say, Popcorn? What should I try and do? Oh, I need to stay calm, mm, keep breathing, OK, and oh, think positive. Yeah, I can do that. I can remember it. Yeah, OK. OK, bye, Popcorn. Bye. She puts down the phone. Tallulah feels ready. She's as ready as she'll ever be. And there above her is Boobo Boobo, the eagle owl, standing up. Take one leg across the other and bend your knee, arms out wide, and scissor them. Wave with your underneath arm and swizzle it round, sitting down like an eagle. Boobo Boobo looks down at all of the owlets below her. She is poised and balanced. Swapping your legs round now, cross the other leg over and bend your knees. Scissor your arms, wave with your underneath arm and twizzle them round. Your wisdom test will now begin. All of a sudden, a snake slithers amongst the owlets. Coming down onto your bellies, hands underneath your shoulders, wiggle your shoulders. All of the little baby owlets start twit-twooing and fretting, coming to your knees. Twit-doo! 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 They're getting panicked, and by them getting panicked, it's making the snake panic more too. Coming back down to your belly. <laughs> Tallulah uses her new skills. She listens. She watches and she thinks, what is the snake thinking? And she stops. She becomes as calm as she can. She breathes slowly. As she does this, all of the other owlets see and think, oh, she looks quite powerful and strong. Maybe we should try that. And they all become still. They all become calm. And because of this, the snake becomes calm, coming down onto your bellies. And smilingly, the snake slithers away. Boobo Boobo glides down to see Tallulah, arms wide, fold forward. Silently, she lands in front of Tallulah, the owlet. She wraps her up in her ginormous eagle owl wings and says, thanks to you, Tallulah, all of the owlets have passed their wisdom test. You paid attention. That is all. Your journey to becoming wise has begun. All of the owlets are delighted and twit to woo in celebration. Twit to woo! Twit to woo! Twit to woo! But we. We can't stop yawning. 
we've got to leave these little night owls to their celebration and to their night school. So we crawl into our tent, coming onto all fours. We crawl inside and get ourselves nice and comfy. We lie down on our backs, resting ourselves all the way back, preparing for some lovely rest. We start by doing a special relaxation game with ourselves where we make our whole body go really, really, really stiff and then we let it go. We make our body go really, 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 really stiff, scrunching our nose and our face and let it go. And then we melt. We breathe slowly. And we let all of that action just wash away. Now, can we be brave? Be brave enough to be still. I think we can be brave enough to be still. What will we hear when we are still? How can we activate our spider senses and listen? When we listen, we take in so much. And when we breathe, we give ourselves space. We breathe now, enjoying this stillness, soaking up the wisdom we've learnt. And then it's time for us to awake again, slowly wiggling our fingers and our toes, drawing our knees up and into our chest to give them a hug. We roll over onto our side and we slowly come up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. All of that wisdom, that thinking and feeling from someone else's point of view, we can do that. And after three, we say our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. That was wonderful. I hope you learned a little bit about wisdom. I did. It was great having you along. I hope to see you soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. Don't forget to join me on Saturday morning for Saturday morning yoga. Get everyone at home together and enjoy some family time. Remember, subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss one. I'll see you Saturday. Then Hello everyone, welcome to the Cosmic Kids Zen Den. I'm Jamie and this is your place for a few moments of blissful peace to feel all calm and relaxed. First, let's get comfy. Sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, we bring our hands to our knees and take a big deep breath. <sighs> That's better. Now let's get the Zen Den ready so we can really enjoy it. We need music. <gasps> wow! Gosh, look at all these sounds to choose from. Let's pick some that help us feel all lovely and calm. Hmm. Oh, the sound of mountains. Mm, mm. A cicada. Mm. Um. Mm. Oh, a campfire crackling. Lovely and cosy. There. Now we need to think about the smells. What smells shall we have? Oh, wow! Look at all these ones to choose from. Mm. 
No, thank you, Mr. Fish. Ooh, freshly baked bread. That's tempting. Oh, but look. Let's smell the orange. Ah, oh, it's so good. It makes my mouth water. Yummy. Mmm. Now, sometimes it can be tough to just focus on one thing. There are so many other things that we get distracted by. If we practice, though, we can get really good at being focused. It means we can learn more and become really skillful at doing stuff, which is great. Sometimes it's called concentration. We concentrate on something. Now, we all need to practice this, even our mums and dads too. Hmm. Let's have a go now, shall we? Ready? Okay, let's get ready. We sit nice and still, eyes open and looking at me. Can you see that? The candle flame. Wow. Let's look very carefully at it. We watch its tip moving and flickering around. We see the different colours inside it. The yellows, the orange, a little green maybe, the bright light. Can you see them all? Yes. We keep looking straight at it, focusing our whole mind on it. It is filling our mind as we concentrate on it. Look. Now we try a special trick, some real magic. Keep looking at the flame. After I count to three, let's close our eyes and see if we can still see the flame even with our eyes closed. Ready? One, two, three. Close your eyes. Can you still see it? You can still see the flame in your mind even though your eyes are closed. But it might be fading away. That's fine. Just open your eyes again and you can see the flame once more. Yes! Wow! For just a second when we close our eyes, the flame stays in our mind. Isn't that clever? We were so focused we could still see it. Well done everyone! Now let's do a big breath in and blow the flame out. Ready? <sighs> well done! That moment with the candle flame has helped us practice focusing our minds. Hmm. And it helped us feel all lovely and calm too. You did it. Let's give a silent cheer to the sky. Keep up the practice to become a true Cosmic Kids Zen Den master. Bye bye. Peace out. Bye bye boat. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Take a little bit of time to get yourself ready. You need a place to sit or lie down so you feel happy to be still for a few moments. Get nice and comfy, so do any fidgets. Roll your shoulders a couple of times and just allow your body to settle. Okay, now you're settled and you're in a good spot. Let's listen to our breathing. It might be very quiet, quieter than a whisper. But if you listen carefully, you might just start to hear it. Coming in and going out. Coming in and going out. 
Maybe you can feel it too. Around your nostrils as the air comes in and out. Your chest lifting and lowering. Even your tummy as it fills up and empties with each breath like a balloon. If you haven't already, just allow your eyes to gently close. Now you're in your mind and you can enjoy being taken on a lovely dreamy adventure. You are at the ocean, standing on a beach. The sun is warm and there's a little breeze which you can feel on your body and face. Sitting by the water's edge is a little boat. This boat is for you. So you untie the rope and give it a push, hopping in once you get deep enough. Off you go, being carried by the waves out to sea. What a lovely feeling this is, freedom on the ocean. The sun feels warm on your face and body. The ocean waves gently rocking you. It's peaceful here at sea. Just the sound of the birds above and far away. Little splashing sounds of water as the waves meet the boat. In the distance, you pick up on another sound. A humming noise. It's very quiet to begin with, but gets louder and clearer as it comes nearer to you. You recognise the sound as another boat. The driver is a kind old man. He is smiling peacefully as he pulls up next to your boat. He turns the engine off and tells you he has brought the bye-bye boat for you. He then asks for your worries. He wants you to hand them over to him. You take a moment to think of all your worries, every last one. You pack them up and pass them over, putting them onto the bye-bye boat. Next, the kind old man asks for your anger. Again, he'd like you to put it on the bye-bye boat. So you get all of your anger, everything that's really frustrating. You gather it all up and you do just that. You put it onto the bye-bye boat. Finally, the kind old man asks for your fear. You make a special effort to collect all of your fear, all that you are afraid of, every last bit of it, and you hand it over, putting that on the bye-bye boat as well. The old man looks and smiles at you. You smile back at him, enjoying the moment. You feel so good now. You feel light. You don't have any worries, anger or fear to carry anymore. You are free. The old man starts the engine. He raises his hand and gives you a little wave. With those kind eyes and that warm smile, he drives the bye-bye boat away. We lay back down in our boat and once again feel the warmth of the sun on our skin, the gentle rocking of the waves and the sounds of the ocean lulling us into peace. There's always a way to let go of the stuff that holds us back. And usually that stuff is worry, anger and fear. It's natural to have all of them, 
It's part of being human. But we don't need to let them swallow us up. We can make them easier to deal with by taking them out and putting them somewhere else, like the bye-bye boat. Once we do this, we have freedom, we are lighter, and we often find solutions to the problems we've been worrying about. When we're ready, we head back to the beach, our boat gliding gently over the water, carrying us back to the sandy shore. We sit up tall and stretch as we return to land, opening our eyes to come back to where we began. Take a moment before you move anywhere or start doing something else to notice how you feel now. Take this feeling of peace and calm with you. Your body, heart and mind will be better for it. This is Jamie saying peace out.